are here. Uh, ITC, ITC is located in Washington, D.C. So there are many law firms uh, that specialize in ITC litigations around Washington, D.C. So when you choose your legal representatives, you have to make sure that these, uh, the law firm uh, has a lot of experience related to ITC. And, and you also have to choose a law firm that has uh, many uh, patent lawyers. And you also have to choose a law firm that has experience of representing Korean companies. Because as I said before, uh, Korean companies have many misunderstanding or lack of understanding related to discovery and there could also be some miscommunication even with uh, with their legal uh, representatives so it's uh, uh, quite important that uh, you work that the Korean companies work with the legal legal uh, firms of the law firms that have had experience working with the Korean companies so you have to choose a law firm that knows about ITC as well as Korean companies. But of course, that is not all. In case of Samsung Electronics, uh, we uh, form a task force team uh, made of the teams uh, made of the people from the patent team, from the development team, and support team, and the people at the development team are so very busy. They have so many developments that they have to take care of. They really don't have much time to help us uh, during uh, the litigation. But this is very important uh, for uh, discovery, uh, for the submission of the document. You need to have a cooperation for the, uh, from the development team because the patent team does not know where the documents that are needed are. So you need to be able to form this sort of task force team. And our, and, uh, our experience tells us that such a, a task force is very important. And I'm sure this is the same uh, at all companies and uh, at other uh, forums as well. When it comes to ITC litigation, as I said, the timetable uh, is very tight. Uh, uh, there has to be a very r rapid, uh, speedy uh, decision making. And about coming up with the argument, uh, about coming up with the uh, defensive uh, strategies, uh, uh, my time is almost tough, so uh, you, you can read them uh, at your own leisure. And if you, there are questions for me, I'll try to answer them later on. And there's also something called a design around. And many companies are doing this. And there are uh, risks related to going to the litigation, to the court. Uh, if you have any ideas for the design around, it, um, it's quite useful even during on the negotiations as well as well as the as well as after the trial. So it requires a lot of effort, but uh, design around does help. With that, I would like to uh, wrap up my presentation. Thank you. Yes, uh, we sh I, I apologize for the short time that was allocated to you, uh, Director Kim. So next time, perhaps you can come and give us a more detailed uh, presentation. Thank you. And now? As was presented from LG Electronics, we have uh, Vice President Ko Chung Gon. Please greet him with a warm round of applause. Thank you. And now, as was presented from LG Electronics, we have uh, Vice President Ko Chung Gon. Please greet him with a warm round of applause. Yes, good afternoon. I am Ko Chung Gon of LG. Today, with ITC, Honorable Judge Essex, and also Mr. Kim from IPAC, and also with uh, Sonu uh, attorneys uh, from Finnegan, it's an honor. And when we say ITC, we tend to, uh, it is the International Trade Commission. And a lot of people tend to think that ITC stands for an organization in the UN. But that's not true. This is a 
trade commission within the U.S. So I've written down the USITC. And actually, the uh, younger generation is aware of this USITC more than the older generation. And now in Korea, it's almost a household name, uh, the USITC. So it's uh, come up very often in the newspapers. And uh, I asked my nephew what the ITC is. And his answer was that my small uh, boy, my nephew, said that the ITC is an organization which uh, disallows import of Korean products into the U.S. So that's a mis misunderstanding, but uh, that's what he said. Now, I work at LG Electronics, and the finished product, home appliances, cell phones, television, the finished product we make finished products and that means that we are subject to many different patent litigations in the US and as was mentioned, we have had many instances of these cases. This is the LGE experience with ITC. In, and the most recent amongst these is the case of the refrigerator. Uh, LG Electronics was the respondent. And we won against, uh, we, it was against Whirlpool and uh, LGE won in this instance. People say that ITC comes from hell. A lot of uh, companies who have been involved in these litigation suits. Uh, the ITC, when we see the documents from ITC, it's about uh, over 200 pages. And so two years ago, we, re we received the, the documents from ITC. It was over 200 pages, and we were very surprised. But during that time, we were prepared because in the home appliances market, we were competitors with Whirlpool. And during that time, we had had cases with the uh, washing machine with Whirlpool, and we won. And we thought that there would be the refrigerator uh, case with Whirlpool. And we thought it would be with the district court, but unexpectedly, it was with the ITC. It was filed. So uh, we were prepared with non-infringement uh, date documents and other documents. We were prepared at that time. So with that, because we were expecting and preparing, it was all within the scope of our preparations. So it should have been concluded within a year. And uh, we won almost. But the committee uh, re-deliberated and uh, there was a re-judgment and there were ups and downs and then finally we won this case. So in the ITC, uh, I would like to once again, I think, uh, emphasize the importance of preparations and being advanced uh, uh, ready. And at that time, Honorable Judge Essex was the judge presiding at that time. And uh, LG Electronics was, in many cases, was the respondent. But in some instances, we have become the complainant. So recently, uh, against the Visio, Visio, which is the biggest uh, television seller in the U.S., we had a I, we filed an ITC case and we won against Visio for video displays. As an attorney in LGE, uh, through my observations. For the complainant, uh, so these are some of the advantages that I see for the complainant. From the complainant's perspective, about one year to six months before filing the complaint, uh, the complainant may make preparations. 
And uh, with the ITC staff members, you can have prior uh, contacts. And so that is a good uh, advantage. And also, in ITC, uh, the object is not a person, it's a good, a product. And uh, it's a single court for multi-party IP disputes. And uh, when, I, when I talk about the no counterclaim, it means that if you want to raise a counterclaim, you have to have a separate IT uh, case. You have to file a separate case. And foreign discovery is allowed. And uh, the trial is very much expedited within a year. And if the judgment says that the patent is being infringed, then the US Customs will implement, enforce the orders by IZT. ITC, sorry, and the exclusion order, it's going to cover all the infringing goods, not only a specific product. So from the complainant's perspective, these are very good advantages. Next, what are the advantages for the respondent? Uh, this is uh, different from the district courts, and uh, the complaint has to be very specific. And so, uh, in general, the complaints go up to over 100 pages. And in the complaints, you have to have the infringement claim charts and also all other license agreements and the cited prior arts. Copies all have to be there. Also, you have to satisfy the condition that you are a domestic industry. And the complainant has to practice his own patent. Self-practice is a, another precondition. But that's not the case, because in a lot of instances, they do not practice their own patent. But in this case, that is necessary. Also, because there are no monetary compensation, uh, that is an advantage for the respondent. But there are not many advantages for a respondent. So it is this system works more for the complainant. We could say, and also uh, for everyone, disadvantages is that the discovery, the factual aspects, it's very broad, so this results in high costs. And because the ITC does not provide monetary damages, there is a additional cost for a district court case. And so because you have to work on both ends, it means also additional costs. Another disadvantage is that the judge in the ITC, even if he has the findings, it is subject to review. And the commissioners will also review this. And the commissioners in their review because the commissioners are not present at the trial itself, because they do not observe uh, many, they don't have first-hand observation of the witnesses, there are a lot of uh, variables here. And so the ITC trends, as Mr. Kim has pointed out, the non-practicing uh, uh, the non-practicing entities are moving uh, from moving to ITC because it's a very strong tool, and 
Uh, this is uh, somewhat detailed, but if a judge 